everyone, welcome back to the vlog. We are going to my most favorite place in Manila in terms of spotting cars, which is Second Skin. I gotta return the Second Skin plates and then pick up the BMW M4. It's finally done. It's been done actually for a few weeks already. It's just that we'd had no time to pick it up. And then later we're gonna be shuffling cars. We have to shuffle the Camaro and get the 458 GT3 so that we can prepare it also to go back to Second Skin. We're gonna be dropping this off so that we can get some clear protection for the rest of the Defender also. Because we basically installed the carbon parts but they need to be double taped down because they're actually moving just a little. And then after that, we're going to do some afternoon errands also. So hopefully it's gonna be a quick, short vlog. I need to send the bin of this to get it serviced as well. I totally forgot about that. drive the car went super weird it just jammed the brake and emergency stopped with nothing in front I just turned off the anti-collision because I felt that I was unsafe and the car behind me almost rear-ended me thank god he was alert also but yeah the I hate these guidance things and they're so tricky but we are here we're in second skin and I think Archie is here and he said he has an interview in the morning so we're going to see if we can bug him but we're not gonna stay long we're gonna do a quick update obviously of what the cars are here and I do love coming here because yeah they do have some amazing cars we have some Porsche seats on display in the showroom and they've been selling well we also make Mustang seats and the guy doesn't know me anymore I haven't been here in ages I hope you guys like this color grading that we're using a new picture profile for the Sony camera. I tried it out last Saturday when we went to the car meet and it, it looks good. Hopefully you guys enjoy it because the old picture profiles suck. So that looks great, really great and our problem is this one. They still haven't worked on it. We're still waiting for RV to finish his design so that we can get this and bring it to the track. This has a lot of things to go and yeah, this is a work in progress. The damage needs to be sorted out. RV has this mechanical look that he wants to do on it and excited to try this out on track. But that's not the topic for today. We're gonna leave the Defender so that we can get the this one matte, that one matte and basically check everything else. But I think that's it on this car. Archie in this interview, man. Yes. Is he upstairs? Got our Dimag Brother wheels and the Liberty Walk Kit and the Air Motion Wing. Excited to drive this car. Let's go bug Archie. Check out the showroom. Hello. Oh, it's us. <laughs> this is the RV uh, car meet, I think. I oh, know it's not. This is the January car meet. These are the Darwin Pro lounge chairs. So these definitely are for sale and we have a 911 seat but this is sold already and we're constantly improving this chair but it's beautiful. It's my favorite chair. This is actually going to go to the garage later on. I just haven't had time to transport it. But forged carbon in purple and then the orange, papaya orange. <laughs> Thanks, RT. Underwater with tropical storm We have the collection. So, RT is online in the next few minutes, but we're just here to say hi. Hi. I love the showroom. I love the transformation. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I think it's a good place where we can showcase our products. Like and you opened the door already. Yeah, I did. Just to, you know, make it more accessible to people. So, if people uh, wanna. Just wanna see. They wanna see the products, you know, they wanna see what's up, what's up. I might send the junior cars back. Yeah. When they have space for it? Yeah, you can put it in the shoulder. And just on the sides? Yeah, just on the side. Okay, awesome. Okay. Thank nice. you, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> And yeah, the showroom's open. We're gonna send the junior cars back here. Let's take a quick look at what's here parked. This is a 600 LT right here, McLaren, a Porsche, Ferrari F12, 488, Land Cruiser, Escalade. And we're just gonna jump in and pick up our car. 
Red SLS there, getting the vacuum treatment. Echo is saying we're rubbing a little on the fenders, but that's fine. Race car issues. I haven't ridden this race seat also, so we're gonna get the Liberty Walk stickers. I do think we need some spacers to bring out the front wheels. The camber is also very aggressive, so let's get some spacers, probably a half inch spacer, bring this out. I wonder if we have some spacers at the car shop to test. Yeah, questionable fitment. I do wonder if the project will achieve our goals of being faster on the racetrack. We do have better tires, we do have better traction, and we have all the suspension components to agree with that, and it's just up to me as a driver to push it. Hopefully this car does better than the GT2 RS, but then again, it is a front engine rear wheel drive car, which means I should be fine handling all the power. Just put on the LV performance here, and then we're putting the famous saying, imagine a world living in peace on the door with the Japanese symbol, because it is Liberty Walk and it looks amazing. Can't wait to drive this car. Haven't driven it since it came down from the farm. Very rare to see second skin super empty like this, but they're already fixing the car. Archie's also going to do a video shoot because we haven't shot this car since it's basically come to them and that needs to be detailed. This is not a very forgiving chair. It is a race chair. And we have no gas. But we need an airbag light, we need to set the date and time. Looks like the battery's been disconnected. The seat's so low also, I barely see the front of the car. Gonna adjust my mirrors. So I've actually uploaded a lot of build videos about this car ever since we got it. We've done so many small upgrades from the radio upgrade all the way up to the exhaust, the suspension. We did a lot of work in the farm, but we also sent the car to Titan and uh, to Hazard Boy so that we can do much more work there. And uh, we're gonna go get ready to leave. I'm gonna tip the staff because they've been so awesome to me and I'll get back on camp. So we gotta work out the resistor. It's over here. Figure out where to plug it down so that we don't have this airbag restraint light and get the wing working. So still small things to fix about this car. Again, spacers for the front tires. I gotta get a mount for our phone because this mount no longer works. That's my older mount and it's just actually screwed on there. So lots of things, small things to do. Summer is here and it's even supposed to get hotter. We have uh, supposedly El Nino coming in the later part of the year to the next year and it might stay with us for a while. So I hope you guys are bracing for that and get your air conditioners clean and maintain your car so that you guys don't overheat on the road. So we are only at 17 liters. I'm guessing about 50 liters worth of fuel. <laughs> I forget why I like driving this car. It's so much fun. So our steering wheel is slightly off center. The car is pulling slightly right, which means we do need a new alignment for this car. I wonder why, because nothing was wrong when we brought the car down. So something might, might have changed and moved, but it rides much firmer than I remember. <laughs> Chino came over so that he can check on the Camaro because it has a flat spot revving up the rev range and we thought that it was a tuning issue but it actually looks like possibly a coil pack issue or a spark plug wire issue or a coil wire issue so we need to change that first and we also noticed the fuel pressure was extremely low at 40 psi these engines from the Camaro earlier or newer gen Camaros like to run at like 50 at psi, 58 psi pressure and uh, we were only at like 41 psi so some things to check and then I noted a few things also that we want to upgrade 
with the Camaro in terms of uh, just creature comforts like central locking system and a reverse camera so small things like that just to make the car a little more uh, livable but overall I've been super happy with this car everyone who sees it looks looks like they love it because everyone takes photos of it and uh, I think it's a little too low in the front left so we're gonna check that also tomorrow window won't seem to come up now Super sucks. I just nicked the front of the car. So sorry. Can be repaired, but yeah, not now. I just nicked the gate. A really light nick. I thought I was clear of the gate. Oh wow. I think we reached. Okay, swapping cars. Let's try not to nick anything. Except the battery still is good. <laughs> it's not a keyless. Oopsies. Key on. <laughs> Injector cleaner in this, so we actually gotta run the motor and make sure that the injectors get cleaned. <laughs> I don't know if I actually need to take out the injectors and send it to a specialist cleaning service to sort of get rid of this low end. short pull before we have to park the car and I think we're gonna continue this vlog on Wednesday because I don't feel like it's enough content yet for today because Wednesday will be short because we're just literally picking up and dropping off cars on Wednesday I've just been surrounded with naturally aspirated goodness this past few days the GT3 3.8 liter the A12 GTS with the Gintani exhaust and now the 458 it's just been so good so can't beat it like driving the m4 you know you feel the power you feel the surge but the turbos and the burble of the m4 doesn't really cut it out for me half of me again wants to sell the car but i always do this when i drive it i want to keep it because it's such a fun car to drive but the other half of me is like yeah just get rid of it because we have much more fun and audibly entertaining sounds to drive in so not sure what to do with the car but I think we should fix it obviously finish it and then bring it to the racetrack because that was the main mission for the car hopefully we can achieve the goals intended and beat the time that we set with the car with the previous uh, lap that we did we're gonna cut the vlog now I'll see you guys in a second you're gonna be seeing me on another day